paper like so and you're going to carefully trace your hand. If you have any rings, you might want to take the rings or bracelets or watches off first. Just carefully trace it. Leave your hand on your paper. Don't take your hand off of here it's because I want you to pay attention to how like your hand bends and moves. And so for my finger here, if I lift it, it bends here and it bends here. So I'm going to make a little mark where it, my fingers bend. So same here. So my fingers bend here and here. And so I can lift each finger up carefully to figure out where everything bends. And my thumb, this one's really pay, important to pay attention to, because my thumb, if you notice, it starts moving here at the wrist. So the, this is one of the biggest mistakes beginning students do. They draw the thumb too high up when your thumb begins at your wrist. And so it move, bends here a little bit too, so I'm going to mark that. And of course it bends here. So once I have my marks down, I'm going to take my hand off and yours should look something like this. So I'm going to go ahead and divide this. Um, so I'm going to draw my lines across and here I'm going to draw my line across from here. And then here, this is where the bottom of my fingers bend. So I'm going to draw a line going across here. And the one thing that we need to make note of is that all of your fingers, including your thumb, is made up of three sections. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three. The other important note, thumb begins at the wrist. So these are just some little notes for you to remember to help you uh, with your drawings. And if this is the wrist, this length here of your palm is approximately the same length as your middle finger. So, so the last thing I want to point out is our thumb. Our thumb kind of touches this middle section here these kind of connect together. This one is our, because it's our pinky, this one's a little bit shorter, but the top part of our pinky lines usually, this isn't exact science, but our pinky is usually about um, the crease line, the top crease line of this finger. Um, and you can use each finger as a measurement for one another.